Right now, horses are parading for the next race. Another elimination for three-year-old pacers. Here's that field, number one, my trademark, owned by Rebecca Jarrett of Hampton, Illinois. Sam Bates Jr. trains. Tom Simmons will be the driver. Two Do's is Wild, owned by Ed Mullinax. Amherst, Ohio, Brooke Nichols, the trainer, with Sepp Nichols driving. Three Taste of Wine, owned by John and Constantinos Kalopoulos of Bridgeview, Illinois. Joe Anderson trains and will be in the bike. Four Fox Valley Admiral, owned by Lloyd Arnold, Chris Bardas, uh, Edward, Edward Alred of Delaware and California, Alex Adam, the trainer with Tony Morgan, Five Proud Grandpa, owned by Sport and Life Stable of Cicero, Jim Eaton trains with Dan Knox in the bike. Six Big Dame Hunter, owned by Robert McCormick of Grant Park, Neil Coleman, the trainer driver, Seven Lake Hills Ray, owned by Fox Valley Standard Bridge of Sherman, Tony Alanya trains with Dave McGee. A number eight, Fox Valley Ritz, owned by Jack Willen Brown of Mantino. Gary Skerlock, the trainer, Andy Miller, behind Fox Valley Ritz. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Fox Valley Ritz firing for the lead. Out very fast also as Fox Valley Admiral is at field. Guns toward the turn on the inside. My trademark out with them. They're driving now toward the quarter. My trademark on the inside. On the outside, Fox Valley Ritz. The battle's over. Fox Valley Ritz has won it. He'll drop in against the rail. Second as they race that way is my trademark getting out third on the inside. Dews is wild. Fourth on the outside, Fox Valley Admiral moving up for Tony Morgan. Racing on the inside five as they sweep past the quarter is Taste of Wine. Front panel rolled in 27 seconds. They're on the back stretch. They're racing now toward the half. And on the outside, there goes Fox Valley Admiral easing to the lead for Anthony Morgan. On the inside, second is Fox Valley Ritz along the rail. Racing third, my trademark. Here comes Taste of Wine with a 30 on the outside. Anderson has him rolling. 5, 4, 3, 2. He's the leader before the half. And on the outside, taking command, Taste of Wine. He leads him past the half. 56 and 1, so that 29 1 second quarter gave Anderson the burst to carry him to the front as the field was leisurely racing down the back stretch. He'll lead him now to three quarters. Taste of Wine has the field behind him on the outside. Coming on, Proud Grandpa. He moves up second for Knox. On the inside, third is Fox Valley Admiral. They're approaching the three quarter. On the outside, moving with cover fourth as they drive that way. Lake Hills Ray A about to join the fray. On the inside, no place to go for Fox Valley Ritz. He's trapped six at the three quarter 126 again a lazy quarter they're at the top of the lane and on the inside showing the way taste of wine on the outside proud grandpa and here comes big dame hunter who has been at the back of the pack languishing all afternoon they drive through the lane big dame hunter coming on big dame hunter proud grandpa here's fox valley ritz big dame hunter big dame hunter and fox valley ritz in a tight photo Home third unofficially, proud grandpa. It'll be Taste of Wine four on a break at the wire was Fox Valley Admiral. He was under the wire fifth but off stride. That's a photo finish. Result of the photo shows the winner to be from Mantino, Illinois, owned there by Jack Willen Brown, trained by Gary Skurlock, Andy Miller driving Fox Valley Ritz. Inquiry in the race involves number four, Fox Valley Admiral off stride at the wire, does not involve the front three finishers. And now into the winner's circle. Owned by Jacqueline Brown of Mantino, giving trainer Gary Skurlock yet another visit today to the winner's circle, giving him a three-year-old Colt qualifier. Andy Miller picking up that driving win with that late burst in 154-1.